it's done and we've got the dreaded dreaded word that all ham radio operators hate firmware update oh my goodness we're gonna update firmware first I'd like to thank my friend Terry N8LN who helped me out with uh, just a quick um, procedure on doing this and I'll be honest with you um, I'm not a Linux guy but this was very 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 easy so uh, we're going to be using a uh, Raspberry 3 with a ZUM spot. This is updating the firmware for the ZUM spot, and we'll also be updating the uh, PyStar software. The procedure is the same for both uh, the Pi 3 and the uh, Pi, uh, Pi 0. This is typically what you get from HRO with their uh, ZUM, ZUM spot kit, except for this little uh, dummy load I use as an antenna just because I don't want a big antenna in the car. Anyway, so the first thing we do is make sure number one rule is everything has been working fine. So you have internet access, you 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 know how to log into your uh, Pi Star, and that's what we're going to do right here on the computer. So I'm going to open it up here to the browser, put um, HTTP colon forward slash forward slash pi hyphen star, and we get into the system. So there's my dashboard right there. I'm gonna go to. Um, I'm gonna go to uh, configuration. Just kind of look things over. All right. So I, I still have a default user name and password, which is Raspberry. Uh, you can change that. And so what we want to do now is we want to go in and. Uh, go to the expert expert tab up here and it's giving you all these warnings and stuff like that and you want to select SSH access right here alright now it's gonna because I haven't changed anything it's gonna be um, pi star hyphen or pi hyphen star hit enter now the password, when I enter the password, and again, it's still the default. Uh, you, some of you may know how to change it, but uh, if you still have the default password, it's not going to echo back. So make sure you spell it correctly. R-A-S-P-B-E-R-R-Y. Now it's not echoing back. I hit enter, and now it, it enters into the, uh, the uh, PyStar uh, uh, command prompt. So the command prompt is right down here. Now currently it's set to uh, not be um, uh, writable. So we want to go ahead and change that. So at the command prompt we put RPI hyphen RW. And it's writable. So now we're going to uh, go get the software for the, the firmware. So type SUDO space pi star, there's no hyphen in here, pi star, now there's a hyphen, zum spot flash. Make sure you spell it right, folks. F L A S H. Put a space, then R P I. All right, so now the dreaded firmware is going to be going once I hit a key. And there it goes, real easy. So it's kind of thinking, kind of thinking, kind of thinking, and you see activity going on down here. So another thing we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and do the uh, Pi Star uh, operating system and uh, get it done too. So flashing your RPI modem complete, press any key to reboot your system. So we're going to do that, and it's going to take it may take a couple minutes to do that. So go ahead and let it reboot. And it says down there, session closed. 
So we're going to reboot. And again, it's rebooting. Be patient. All right, so we've done a upgrade, and we're going to do an update. Nothing to it. All right, I jumped over the dashboard. Okay, so that's it. So we've done some updates there. And we have our firmware all up to date. Our software for the Pi Star is all done. If you need any help, don't be afraid now. It's a, it's an easy firmware update. Uh, just uh, email me at w6gps at yahoo.com.